Hello once again, my name is Julian Walker and this is another J English video. Today I'm going to teach you how to use many and much. Okay? Many is used with countable nouns, uh, with questions, and with negatives. Okay? And much is used with uncountable nouns, questions, and negatives. Okay? And a countable noun is uh, basically just like it says. It's a noun that you can count. Uh, it might have an S on the end, but it doesn't necessarily have to have an S on the end. And an uncountable noun is a noun that you cannot count. Okay? So let's take a look at the board and see what I've written down. Okay? Many and much. Many countable nouns, questions, and negatives. So like I said, you use many with countable nouns, uh, with questions, and with negatives. And much is used with uncountable nouns, questions, and negatives. Okay? And I have written some sentences on the board. Okay? The sentences are incomplete. You need to fill in the blanks with much or many. Okay? I'm going to step to the side and let you look at these sentences and uh, fill in what you think is the correct answer. Okay, I gave you a little bit of time, but we're going to go over the sentences together, okay? So let's look at the first sentence. There is two blank dirt in the bucket. Okay, so the noun here is dirt. Okay, is there an S there? No. Can you count dirt? Uh, not really, no. There, so what would you use? There is two many dirt in the bucket, there is too much dirt in the bucket. Okay, so dirt is uncountable and there's no S. So, according to our definition with much, we should use much. Okay, there is too much dirt in the bucket. Okay, so let's look at sentence number two. Sentence number two reads, how blank brothers and sisters do you have? Okay, so let's look at the noun. We have the noun here, brothers. We have the noun, sisters. You can count brothers and sisters, and there is an S here and an S here. So if you can count, we use many, right? How many brothers and sisters do you have? You do not say how much brothers and sisters do you have. You say how many. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have? So let's look at the next sentence. The next sentence reads, I don't receive blank emails. Okay. I don't receive much emails or I don't receive many emails. The noun is emails. There is an S, and you can count emails. Okay, so again, if it's countable, a countable noun, you use many. Okay, I don't receive many emails. Okay, let's go on to the next sentence. How blank rice do you buy per month? Okay, let's recognize the noun here, rice. There's no S. Okay, you cannot count it. There's no S. How, uncountable, we use much. Okay? How much rice do you buy per month? And you see also this is a question. Right? This, here we use a question, here we use a question. And this one was a negative. Okay? So let's look at the next sentence. I have blank plates in my sink. The noun here is what? Right? Plates. And there is an S. Plates is countable. So we put many in the blank.
I have many plates in my sink. Okay, let's look at the last sentence. The last sentence reads, how blank students were at the party. Okay, let's recognize the noun, locate the noun here. Students, students has an S. You can count students, okay? So, much, no, we don't use much, we use many, right? How many students were at the party? How many students were at the party? Okay, so let's recap. Today we looked at many and much. Okay, and we use many with countable nouns, questions, and negatives. And we use much with uncountable nouns, questions, and negatives. I hope this short lesson was of some use to you. Okay, many and much.